causing the downfall of Mike Smith. The very disappointed and dejected Mike Smith was really looking to try and get some more runs here today. So he's gone without opening his account, and England have lost their first wicket with just a single on the board. Single to Edrich. So Edrich now has made six. A score of eight for one. blow there on the hand and already heard the news that Frank Hayes is in trouble and out of the Gillette Cup final one hopes that there's nothing seriously wrong there with David Lloyd that could be an immense blow to Lancashire Movement, but a great deal there, and John Edrich not in line, losing his off stump. So, a wonderful start here for Pakistan, looking for a second successive victory in these one day internationals, and they've got away to a fine start here. And they really needed runs from the earlier batsmen, the batting lineup in this ma test match, not quite as good as in the last one. the mark first ball single to third man This is a wonderful spell here by Safra as that coming the other way, cutting sharply into David Lloyd. And England here finding themselves in all kinds of trouble. Mike Smith gone, John Edrich gone, and now David Lloyd. A little bit worried, I think, with that finger. David Lloyd losing his off stump with a total on 13. And England suddenly crashing here, 13 for three after being put in by Intercab. Again, a little bit of movement there, away from the right-hander. Seam. Didn't necessarily able to take one run for a leg by. There's so much movement there, Fred, that I really can't come to terms with um, Intercarp's tactics of not having a slip. There are no runs are important when the game's reduced to 35 overs. But it's moving around that much, surely uh, he can make do with one slip. Well, this is uh, one of the things that happens in one-day cricket. Uh, containment comes into it. I, moving the ball like he's doing, I should definitely be having a leg slip and a slip. I'd have two men up there because the weight's moving about. The odd edge, I'm sure, is going to come along. I, I, I can't understand why they don't attack more in this one-day cricket under these conditions. Well, they don't need to slip, and you need the wicket-keeper. Fourth wicket down, just 20 runs on the board. And Asif Masood 
slips in now for his second. So Asif Masood and Safraz have each taken two wickets, 20 for four, and the man out, Heath Fletcher. Safraz is bowling so well out there that, uh, in fact, Intercarb has brought in a slip for him. Pakistan team, we talked a moment ago about the bowlers they could use. Asif, Masood and Safraz are bowling at the moment. They're split there on the card by Wazim Bari, the keeper. Then there's Imran Khan. It's nicely fielded down the boundary there. Janess just taking the one run. Some quick bowl, very quick to go around there. Played with quite a bit of uh, sense and authority out there. He's watched it very carefully because the conditions are definitely all against him at the moment, the way this ball is moving around. And probably with a bit of luck, we may see a captain's innings, which is very badly needed if England are to try to square this series. And trouble here if he hits the stumps, yes. Now that really was a mix-up. Must be one of the worst mix-ups I've seen in running between the wickets in a long, long time. It's the old story of don't go for a run on a misfield unless you're certain you can get two. Uh, Tony Gregg is the man out, run out. A sort of a double misunderstanding it was there. Dines declining the single with the total at 24 for five. Three on the onside, saving a single, no slip for Imran. Cub, who made the decision this morning to give England first use of this pitch. The pitch was fully protected from rain. The fact that England are 25 for five at the moment has nothing to do with the pitch being wet, but it uh, would have sweated under the covers a little yesterday and perhaps this morning. Good delivery, cartwheeling the stump back and knocking the bale back some 30, 35 yards. So the stump is stuck in the ground. Don't often see that. One of the requirements you need is soft earth so it'll stick in. Now that was a good delivery from Imran, a little quicker. He looked as though he was just having a few looseness in that over. He slipped that one through to Ness's defence. 25 for six wickets. What today's play? Someone in the last four batsmen is going to have to try to play some sort of innings that will bring respectability to England's total. But the way the ball's moving about at the moment, I can't see it. But you never know at this game. And Good catch. I promise you that anything they do out there this morning will come off. That's a fine catch from Wazim Raja. No wonder he's laughing. Chris Old hit that very hard, and it was flying away over mid-wicket. Wazim Raja just casually plucked it out of thin air. 25 for seven. Chris Old is the latest man out. Caught Wazim Raja. Bold Asif Iqbal. Asif Iqbal brought on as another bowling change by Intercarb keeping Safraz for one over, which he may well not need. 
Imran Khan to Jeff Arnold. And he's bowled him, another great in-swinger. And this tremendous performance by Pakistan here continues. Arnold, clean bowl by Imran Khan for just two runs. And England, 28 for eight. An incredible performance here. And Imran Khan, who's been held back, has now taken two wickets without conceding a run in his second over. Real runs off the bat for a change, Bob Taylor tucking that away. Safra's in pursuit, this is going to be the first boundary. Just stopped on the fringe. So three runs and the first time so far today we've seen three runs scored. So Bob Taylor moving on to seven. And now there's only Mike Dennis who's scored more. He's made nine out of this total of 37 for eight. shot by Bob Taylor takes a single and incredibly enough this is the best stand of the innings for the ninth wicket they've put on 12 runs score 40 for 8 now Imran Khan to Derek Underwood nicely put away square on the offside and that's certainly going to be the first boundary of the day so two late heroes here Derek Underwood and Bob Taylor they've taken this poultry England score from 28 for 8 now under 44 for 8 Yeah, but safe. So Underwood taking a single, and he in turn going on to double figures. So he's made 10, Bob Taylor 11. Take the score now from 28 for 8 to 49 for 8. Chopped down to third man by Bob Taylor. And a single off the last ball of Imran's over, in fact. That signal in the end of Imran Khan's spell. And off after his seven overs, that's all he's allowed to bowl here today. Seven overs, two maidens, two for 16. So he's got the wickets of Jeff Arnold and Mike Dennis, both clean bowl. England now on to 50 for eight. Good shot from Underwood. Picked it up nicely. Darting back at Derek Underwood. Underwood out. The pleasure of the Pakistan fans. The ninth wicket to go down in this England innings at 68.
One ball to go. 78 for nine. Bob Taylor has gone to 26. Peter Lever's on five. One ball to go. And a good stroke from Peter Lever. They'll take three for that. And in fact, may well keep on running. Decided to call today with a total of 81. The start of Pakistan's innings, Jeff Arnold bowling to Sadiq. And the first run. Half a request from Arnold for OBW. innings 81 for nine compulsory closure after 35 overs now Pakistan reply one for no wicket Majid is the batsman oh that must be close yes and he's, he's walking even before the umpire's finger went up the first success for England Majid caught with that uh, darting in cutter from Jeff Arnold what a sensational day this has been. Nine England wickets down, the first eight of them for 28, and now the first Pakistan wicket to go, that of Majid, with only one run on the board. Beautiful shot. Even on that slow outfield, that was four from the moment that left the bat. Glorious stroke from uh, Zahir. <laughs> so good looking hook in the end. Uh, he took it just about off his chin. Really across inside the line. That was hooking it from in front of his face in much the same way as Dennis Amos was hit at the oval in the test match. Quite incredible this is going to count as three, possibly four over the road. The leg by being signalled. So four leg buys, all as a result of a throw at the wicket. A really sparkling innings this by Zahir, full of brilliant strokes on the offside, and there was a hook a moment or two ago of Peter Lever for four. Chris Old has just come on. It's off again, putting that down to third man. It's a magnificent shot. Four runs just behind square. Must be a chance to somebody, it's going to drop safe. Well, it wasn't very far away from Chris Ole. See there where the ball pitched half a dozen strides away. But I think he probably thought mid on was a good deal closer than he was. So the 50 coming up with a streaky single there to Zahir. With a few false shots he's played. Again, he's found the gap all right this time. That'll go through for four. And so here, the man here who's taken the England bowling by the scruff of the neck. Made 36 now out of 55.
Down the wicket, swung away. There is a man at deep square leg. Peter Lever coming in, so they just get one run. Zahir obviously made up his mind now to throw the bat at everything that it's possible for him to get in contact with. Likes his ground, of course, made his great innings of 274 here on the last tour. Deep square leg gone out on the boundary now for the left-handed Sadiq. Ring of four on the onside, saving the single. Four on the off. Sadiq has given no indication at all that he's going to throw the bat. Just intent on keeping Zahir company. He's made eight out of the 56 for one. That's dropped short, a long hop. So a bad ball there from Derek Underwood being pulled away. High over mid-wicket for four. And this now almost a hopeless case for the England bowlers. Score moving on to 60. They're only 22 runs away from another victory in this one-day international. And they've still nine wickets in hand. That's a full toss, and it's going to be out. So disappointed, Sadi, getting a gift there, a full toss, putting it straight into David Lloyd's hands. So Sadiq, who opened up here with Majid, has fallen with a score on 60. His contribution today being 12, Court Lloyd, Bowl Underwood. Sending him back. No question at all about that. Banged away again over the top, through the offside. Zahir with that four going through to his 50, an exhilarating performance by Zahir Abbas, making 53 out of a total of 80 in just 80 minutes. And those 50 have come off, only 61 balls received. top of the bowler's head for four and Zahir the man who's done it for Pakistan supporting some wonderful seam bowling earlier in the day Zahir a wonderful display of stroke making 57 he's made out of a total of 84 for two to give Pakistan victory here in the second of these one-day internationals